Hi, I'm Valerie from Built to Soar. It's the conundrum so many business owners face. See if you can relate. While you want to slow down and enjoy your summer vacation, a part of you may instinctively want to ramp up. As an entrepreneur, your brain is wired to accept the flood of ideas, possibilities, and other shiny objects that come your way at warp speed. Now, this can be a blessing or a curse, especially when you're supposed to be kicking back and relaxing, right? Typically, when I talk about protecting boundaries, I refer to protecting them from others. However, right now, I'm putting a different spin on boundaries. Consider how you'll protect your boundaries from yourself so you can re-energize and relax. Sometimes we can be our worst boundary breakers, right? Sneaking a peek at our email, stealing a few moments to work on a project, or as was my case, letting my mind wander away from those around me to think up the next big move in my business. Don't get me wrong, there is definitely a place for all of that. And it's called a business retreat. And I host them all the time for my clients. That's where you and your business get up close and personal as you envision, create, and plan. But right now, you're on summer holidays, giving your busy brain a chance to slow down, disconnect, and be completely in the moment. So here are three ways I've used with my clients and I've used myself to help make sure you protect your precious vacation from yourself. First of all, set expectations. Once you've reserved your vacation time in your calendar, protect it with everything you have inside you. No shifting it, shortening it, or interrupting it because a client has requested time with you. The way to do that is to set expectations. Give your clients at least a month's notice of your vacation time and let them know you won't be reachable. Even if you have to bend the truth a little in your out of office notice saying you're in an area with limited internet access, right? Now this may feel uncomfortable to be completely disconnected from your clients in your business. I remember my first time doing this I felt like I was in withdrawal, but it does get easier with each vacation. Most of my clients now don't think twice about disconnecting. It's now a natural part of their vacation routine. Secondly, turn off notifications. There's nothing worse than lounging in the morning sunshine with your cup of coffee, listening to the birds chirp away when suddenly your attention is diverted by a ping, a ding, or a buzz of a phone. Turn off your notifications and ask those around you to do the same. This simple act will preserve the tranquility of your vacation time. If you're feeling particularly brave, I encourage you to leave your phone in another room so you're completely out of earshot. And finally, train your team. If you have an assistant, now is the time to use them as your first line of defense. Empower them to make sure you're not disturbed on your vacation. Set the ground rules before you leave so they know when they can and cannot interrupt your vacation. I typically let them know that unless a client is in complete crisis, anything can wait a week or two, right? Make sure you've given your clients notice that if they need anything while you're away, they can contact your assistant. I invite you to choose at least one of the three ways that resonates with you most. Is it setting expectations, turning off notifications, or training your team? Maybe it's all three. Whichever you choose, feel empowered because you are protecting your boundaries and setting yourself up to enjoy a relaxing summer vacation. That is your next step to designing your business so it's built to soar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.